Podcast Ranger. First of all, in today's news, I'm half naked. Well, yeah, we know. And you're not the only one. <laughs> Nutsack everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Listen to my friends think they're funny for the full story. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to your imaginations to figure out which half. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say is that pendulous is uh, something I would use to describe. <laughs> Just to tell all the newbies, we record all three shows in one go. You're spoiling the magic, not that we didn't well, spoil it's not, it already. Well, okay, it's not the magic. Hey, remember when we used to do all these things in one You're go? You're right, we're technology-based. <laughs> and they all used to be one show? Yeah, we still do that. Eventually our topics are going to be so long, we're going to have to have a podcast for just topics! Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> you joked, that could happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably! <and> then, <laughs> Yeah, and you joke. The special podcast topic is now Rangers. its own fucking show. We just name it the Cast Ranger. Variety Anyways, yeah. welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger. What the fuck was that? No, that, you know, every time, every time we start cast, uh, every time you say welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, I always do a weird version of the colorful commercial <laughs> chime. Oh. So that was okay, Baymax. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ah. so we're going to jump right in. So Mackerel! No, that's Not yet! That's for, that's for the other show. Later! That's for later! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Raven just say fuck off? Yes! Swear jar for you, sir! No. Swear caster! Swear caster! <laughs> Swear caster, David! <laughs> Savage caster, wait. Chuck did keeps telling me I should... Yeah, Chuck, Tom. Chuck keeps telling me I have to stop censoring myself. Yeah, you please do. do. Like, I do that a lot. Yes, you do, and I don't understand. Okay, that. moving on. She's First, reflex. First bit of news is not actually Tokusatsu related, but it's kind of semi semi relevant. Almost there. <laughs> so, people may know that there's been a lot of talk about Pacific Rim Two being canceled. It's not, and it's not quite there. Guillermo still wants to do it, and God bless him, because it's, it's, it's not, Guillermo. Yeah, no, they still wanted the staff still want to do it. The studio just dropped it. Is essentially what that amounts to. So it's apparently it's because even though Pacific Rim made more than four hundred million globally, it performed poorly in America, and sequel plans have always been unnervingly tentative. Uh, so apparently, Toro himself weighed in on an interview with Entertainment Weekly, and uh, he says that they're still turning in a screenplay and a budget in a few weeks. As far as he's concerned, it's not gone. Yeah, that's what he also said about Hellboy Three. <laughs> I was gonna say he also mentions like. The, the article we're reading mentions that this film is now on a list of the director's long-planned, eternally beleaguered film productions, along with Hellboy 3 and the Mountains of Madness. Well, Rod, Rob, Rob Perlman has been talking about Hellboy 3 a lot recently. Yeah, can, can, just, one. can we just can we just help fuck you? Hellboy two is better than I, Hellboy one. No, God, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's better. It's too much humor. I prefer Inuyasha. Thank you. Smile with a... <laughs> Anyways, That's the best I, I just want to say, Itchy, Itchy got the biggest rolling of the eyes from me for those. I know. Um, I just want to say, how awesome would it be to see Guillermo do a fucking HP Lovecraft adaptation? Oh, <laughs> I All I no know is, is the only sequel Cthulhu I want the is the giant robot. The only, oh, the, only, the, only the, the only sequel I want right now is fucking Dread Two. Where the fuck is that? Not happening. Um, We're dreading. You know, you know what's funny? Do you know what they want to call Pacific Rim Two or like the Atlantic Rim? No, it's a uh, Pacific Rim uh, Maelstrom. Okay. Maelstrom. <laughs> Why I brought it up? That's an experience <laughs> joke. <laughs> so, good job, Paul. Yeah. So yeah. Overall, I, I like Pacific Rim. I, I hope we see another one. I hope we see more of that sword. Buy more tickets, I hope we see America! More of that sword that Cell hates from the first Oh, movie. I hate it so much. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, if we had a sword, why didn't we use that at the first time? Exactly. I'm also looking, giant robot. I'm also looking forward to the Skull Island movie, the new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie okay. they're making. Whoa! Okay, I'm correcting you on that. Go the new King Kong movie has been moved to Warner Brothers. There has been no confirmation of Godzilla vs. King Kong. It doesn't matter if it was, In it's this day and age, Gar, it doesn't matter if it was confirmed or not. The fact that they brought it up means eventually it's being made. It's Hollywood. They are gonna. They have to make every movie they can now. The word of the day is confirmation. <laughs> can you say confirmation? And, and sell. I'm just going to say this right now. That sword, as age speaking from some, but speaking from the perspective of somebody who's seen a lot of giant robot anime... If I had a dime for every time a giant robot had a w secret weapon they didn't use until the final fucking episode that they've had the whole time, 
I'd be fucking rich. Yeah, no, me too. <laughs> See, the, but the thing is... I don't even question G- Guillermo it. They respect to, the tropes. Uh, Guillermo's supposed to be above that. No, he's not. No, yes, he anyways, is. let's go to the next story. We got a bunch of new stories. Rim 2 happens, and it better fucking happen in Toronto. Oh, like man, they said, they were going to film it here. So. Yeah. Okay, moving on to actual Tokusatsu stories. Grills are better than swords. First off... Speaking of douches... And anyone who actively kn- uh, knows uh, Tokusatsu sort of folklore will know that n- September 13th is celebrated as Kaiza Day. Because c- because Comrade Kaiza's henshin code is 913. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So apparently, uh, people actually celebrate this in Japan. Cool. Even though he was a fucking asshole. Well, maybe some people like assholes. They hated him so much they killed off his ghost. So apparently, uh, there was some sort of publicity event in a Japanese theme park called Yomiuri Land, and uh, they actually got the actor who played Kaiza in the series, Kohei Murakami, to not only appear uh, in front of an audience of children, but actually with a Kaiser driver and did his henshin pose a couple times. Nice. That's, that's and nice. he also did confirm he will be returning for the next Batarai Wait, Ward. Is that video Thanks for him? spoiling that... my next story. Speaking of I was of like, stories. was that a video of him doing it? Yeah. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, okay, we're going to cut for a minute while we watch it and we'll be back. So yeah. Speaking of Kaiser. Happy Kaiser Day. And yeah, like Gar said, Kohei Murakami will be reprising his role in the next Kamen Rider video game, Battle Ride War Genesis. Woo. I'm excited. Not for Kaiza, but just for the game. Is he playable? Yeah, yeah. he's one of the new playable Shit. writers. Actually, uh, wait, did we discuss I'm this okay. last yeah, week? Yeah, last week we yes, talked about na- who's playable. His name went right over my head when we were talking about that. Yeah. No, like, did we talk about like the new roster of characters? Yes, yes we talked we about that last week. Even there are 45 the- confirmed playable characters. Including DLC. Well, I don't think they've confirmed DLC. Actually, actually, no, they did, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, you showed me that. There's actually a lot of DLC characters in this. You want to pull that up while I'm going through uh, the yeah. next stories? Yeah, is I'll one pull of them up. Heart? Can you play as Heart? Please. No, not hard. yet. I don't think heart. so. All I know is Dark Cave is one of them. Heart yeah. for video Hang games. On. Playable Dark Cave. I oh, and Decade it. Violent Emotion. Yeah. Well, while um, he's pulling that up, let's go to our next story. Yay! Oh, I my have, God. I had... Hope I was praising for this to happen, and oh boy, did Bandai answer my prayers. Immediately after Keizo fucking Don't shoots his praise. own. <laughs> Immediately after Keizo shoots his own, we get confirmation that they are, in fact, releasing a Bono driver. Okay. And I instantly was like, shut up and take my goddamn money. And then, and then Keizo sat there going, fuck, I wish it'd have driven me. <laughs> well, whatever. So, apparently, uh, yes, they are releasing the DX Bono Driver, which comes with the belt and the shift brace, but no shift cars, because he didn't now, use any. Now, I know less he doesn't about, have any of his own. Now, I okay. know less about the toy releases, obviously. Was it actually any doubt they would? It's, ne- yeah, it's, never, we're, we, it's never for sure. I honestly didn't expect this. But um, a lot of people were afraid that it's literally not going to have like any function whatsoever. Yeah, and, we don't But honestly, I like to think it's going to be, because, yeah. like... They released no the White way. Wizard driver, and it had all functionality with all the wizard rings, and White Wizard never used them in the show, so... No, Lane. It's just gonna... The electronics are just a drive driver. It's just gonna be all the same sound effects. With That's no what I hope it's... Yeah, I but really I hope, hope it's not. with Bono's voice. But, yeah, here's the thing. We know that it will have Bono's LCD face, but we have no idea yet about what voice functionality it has. I'm praying it, it at least equals the drive driver in terms of what cars it can use, if not more, because of it's like a more advanced system. Like, it'd which, be cool if it could use viral cores. Yeah, that's what I was like, looking up like to. Like, evil! Yeah. But anyways, it's uh, getting a February 2016 release, and I've already pre-ordered one. Pre- yeah, pr- uh, pre-orders officially open at uh, Bandai Premium September 30th, and apparently the, the price at Bandai Premium is 6480 yen. But uh, yeah, Dave... Uh, Told me it's gonna be at least like 125 bucks. So, but yeah. I'm I'm willing to whatever. I knew we all knew you would. Mm. Now, before we head on to the actual bad news, I do have the picture of all the L- DLC characters we are getting. We are getting Rider Man, Zed Cross, Shin, Zeto, and Jay for the final. I'm looking forward to Jay. Yeah. Shin, motherfucker. Yeah, so, so now we have. Why are you happy about that? Because I am. Yeah. So now we have. You I can play, play him. I will play the shit out of Shin. <laughs> but yeah, we have. We now have all fifteen uh, show riders. We have new Deno. Sick. Uh, this this one's actually really cool. Ixa from the past. So we had both Ixas, eighty six okay. and two thousand eight. Yeah. Neat. Neat. Uh, Dark Kiva. Yeah. This is my least favorite. 
Decade Violet Emotion. So, no, that's completely necessary. So the boss it, from it, the previous it, games. No, it's basically Actually, yeah. you know, like the purple. Like that was. A, Isn't that like the only time that's ever shown like, up? I'll be honest. I think, I think so. It's a waste of a DLC. Mm-hmm. No, it's a DLC. For DLC, we gave you the boss character for the previous games. Although that wasn't actually Decade of Violent Emotion, it was like some evil fairy taking its form, but you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, there's Fang Joker. Sick. Skull. Nice! Ryugen. Cool. Uh, Cho Dead Heat Drive. Cool. Neat. Chaser. Fuck yes! Of course. And they don't have an actual picture, just a silhouette of Kamarider Spectre. Of course. Which means we were correct in guessing yeah, Chaser and Spectre. We assumed it was the two of them at least, and then they gave us a fuck ton more. Thank you for giving us Chaser, oh merciful gods! No, I'm just glad that we have all 15 show I know, right? No, I wasn't. I was not expecting the movie The movie show riders. Maybe. Jay's going to be maybe, fun to maybe play Zed, as. Maybe Zed Cross... Beyond Zed Cross, I wasn't expecting any of like the movie I'm, exclusive. I'm gonna make Tom play as Zed Cross. <laughs> he will murder you. <laughs> he think... will murder you and your L five R character. <laughs> and your family. Them too. Chances are Johnny will be here. And then yeah. he'll kill his L five R character too. <laughs> then he's gonna kill you! But yeah, Bono Driver is super stoked. I don't you know what? I don't even care if it doesn't have a lot of functionality. It'll still make an awesome display piece. Because as soon as I saw the Bono driver, I was excited. To and whenever this is this is relating to this week's episode, and then whenever you're feeling angry, you can smash it with my Shingo axe. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping I can buy that off you someday. Uh, maybe I don't know. Hmm. Next story. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh. oh. I'm uh, sorry. Did a yak just give birth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, just, I'm sorry, just that artwork Oh my god, it's so beautiful It's actually really good So we're looking at the artwork for Common Rider Drive's Blu-ray Collection Volume 3 Which pre-orders have opened for uh, The set contains episode 25 to 36 of the show As well as episode 3 of Type Tokujo uh, As well as a bonus disc with trailers Something called The Junction A design gallery and table talk between the cast Oh, junctions are just like those small little advertisements uh, that oh, play okay. between the episodes. So uh, it is releasing on October 7th for uh, 19,800 yen, so about $200. And for those of you who aren't watching the video version, which has the picture on the screen, it's basically this really cool shot of Chaser type Trider on and fucking Dead, Dead, Dead Heat Mock, mock with, and, ever, with all the actual actors like next to them in a corner. Why are so expensive? Because, uh, because, because they pack shit tons of because extras on their d- Blu-rays. Because it's a Blu-ray box set. Yeah. I love it. The, like, the slogan in the top left of this artwork says, Go! This man is a police detective and a common rider! Start your engine! It's funny. I'm pretty sure that's go, start your engine, and then... I know, I know. Cool. It's just the way it looks. Basically, I know. when Drive was having its promos in the beginning, it started, it started as, Start your engine for the next common rider! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Moving on. So, as of this week's episode, there was a little going away party for Fumi Kababa, who plays Medic. Just like they did with Brain when episode 44 happened, yeah. they gave her some flowers to celebrate her wrapping up I love her role the role picture, series. second picture of just Hart and Shinosuke just being like, oh, we got these for you. <laughs> it's just like, it's like the two of us, choose one. We're gay! <laughs> <laughs> you guys. It does I'm look like Hart has his arm around Shinosuke. Yeah. Someone <laughs> does. But no, that's actually one thing I really like about, like, when the series in Japan are, are wrapping up, they give them flowers. Oh, yeah, totally. It's yep. like, it's so adorable. I just remember when, like, they did this, like, final, like, show stage thing of, like, guy and just, like, of the... Oh, yeah. Of, and literally, Koda just, like... Oh, they're all crying. Gakusano just fucking, like, he just burst into tears because he's like, I'm really gonna miss doing this show. And I was just like, I'm this is really gonna busy, mi- man. I'm really gonna miss doing this show with all of the other job offers I've gotten. <laughs> No, seriously, that guy's been in so many shows since Guy Mended. Wow. But no, oh, yeah. it's basically because, like, he burst into tears because, uh, I can't remember his name right now. The actor who played Kaito, he gave him a Team Guy oh, yeah. signed yeah. by everyone. Yeah, that no, awesome. that, too. that was great. That was feelsy. Yeah. Yeah, I would be crying too. Alright. Uh, we have the confirmed release date of Kamen Rider Movie Wars 2016. Why is it called 2016 when it's coming out in December? Sh- Shut up. <laughs> Tell that to every fucking sport game that comes yeah, out. Yeah, that. Before. It's a New Year's movie. Fuck off. Yeah. 
apparently the premiere date is December 12th. The only other details we have is what we mentioned last week, where apparently the chief gets promoted and the three roid mute executors come back in black costumes. Really? Yeah. Dun dun. dun. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Everything in Japan, if it's red, make it black. <laughs> if it wants to be evil, make it black. Yeah, that's dark, kind of the trope everywhere. Oh yeah. Dark, dark. All right. Uh, what is that? I don't like know it. if we mentioned this before, but apparently, as a little promotional thing in Japan. They're selling the Ore Ghost Icon by itself for 100 yen. It, that box looks adorable as crap. Yeah. I actually really like the Ore Ghost Icon. It looks fucking pretty. It, it actually looks different from the one that we get in the belt. Yeah. And uh, it's being released September 20th, so it'll be out shortly. Wait, 100 yen? Like, yeah, which is a dollar. So we'll get it here for 8 bucks, apparently. According to our middleman, yeah. dollar. That's really well, nice of them. I, if I'm not, yeah. If I, if and I'm it looks like it's. Driver, I'll just get that. It, based on the artwork on the box, it looks like the sticker is pretty hollow foil. So that's really surprising. It looks like a milk Neat. curtain. The box. Yeah, yeah. kinda. Yeah, I guess that they went for a cheap as box as up, well, che- as yeah. cheap a box as possible. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty neat campaign item. Give away the primary henching trinket for a dollar. Neat. You know. That's neat. Speaking of ghosts, apparently there were some spy shots taken of the Colorado Ghost filming crew at Musashino Academia Musica College in Tokyo, which is apparently a brand new location for Rider Series. Oh, God. Well, we can't keep using the same five locations. Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, we totally actually, can. We uh, don't need new places. Actually, just try and stop just, me. A uh, quick fun what? story, quickly. Um, I'm away to school this morning. I was on the bus. The guy who was sitting next to me literally looked like the main actor for Kamen Rider Ghost. Nice. Mm-hmm. Neato. Like, same hairstyle and everything. I was like, oh, I want to say something, but I don't want to. <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> yeah, sir. Like, Have you died yet? Are you some kind of Quaker ghost out for well, according to Well, according to my roommates here, I don't exist. <laughs> Your well, existence is questionable. It is. It really is. <laughs> it is. Uh... <laughs> Oh, 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 speaking of show writers. Yeah. They, Amazon has listed a Blu-ray box set of the Kamen Rider movies from the 90s, consisting of Kamen Rider Shin, Zeto, and Jay. And as a bonus feature, the OVA of Kamen Rider SD. I have two out of three of those movies. Is this going to be the box cover? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I might have to own this for that. Yeah, yeah that's know, the, right? the box art is fucking awesome. In which I'm actually really glad they put these three Rider movies together in one box set. Yeah. Because they truly represent, hey, we tried to bring it back, yeah. but we just weren't ready the, yet. These were the attempts to bring it back into the new for the new generation. Yeah. Shin was too dark, Zeto didn't make sense, and Jay was too much like... Zeto made all sorts of sense. I don't well, know. Well, it's basically... It was for, it was we'll for talk about film. those shows eventually. It was for a film festival. In the meantime... Zeto was cool. I liked Zeto. Meanwhile... In the meantime... The I, know, I want to talk about Zeto. We'll talk about it when we riff it. The new Blu-ray box will cost 16,200 yen and will be released on December 24th. Pre-orders are now open. Wait, that's Christmas Eve. Oh my god, you're right! That's tomorrow! <laughs> no, it's yesterday! <laughs> what day is it, lad? <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean Christmas is tomorrow? You mean we skipped the entire holiday season I at work? I say, what Yay! day is it, lad? Today was Christmas <laughs> Day. Oh, <laughs> what that's all that means to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the spirit oh, of I love that the box. Die. The box Ooh. is cool, yeah. Okay, coming on. Nice shadow work there. Uh, a little bit of Dino Charge related news. Oh, I wonder oh, who it could oh. be. Actually, this is actually pretty surprising. So, a while ago when they talked about the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Dino Charge Extra Ranger castings, mm. we got confirmation that the, the, the female... Uh, purple Dino Charge Ranger was going to be Kendall. Apparently, there's more to the story, and this is more in line with them being accurate to Kyo Uger. Apparently, the f- Purple Ranger is someone else at first, a- an old man from New Zealand named Albert, played by a actor named Arthur Ranford. Uh, apparently, he transforms into the Purple Ranger, but he is scared to fight. And apparently, at that point, it's revealed that Keeper has the ability to break the bond between human and Energem. So. They, they retroactively are... They're, they're retconning one of their own plot points in order to serve the fucking Kyoryuja footage here. <laughs> and then, apparently, uh, it finds its way to Kendall afterwards. Well, according to... Okay, I read... By the way, send me that picture of that guy. Yeah, it's basically a, an actual picture from the set of the guy in... Yeah, he looks Yeah, there's scared. a shot... If you're watching the video version, you'll be looking at a shot of 
Apparently, Albert holding the uh, the battery. Or it looks like the Ener- it's the Energem. Oh, or the Energem, whatever. No, th- there's a more of a story into this news article, but I'm not going to spoil it. We're not going to go into too much detail. Just send me yep, So, you know, they're just doing this just to set up that uh, stock footage of the old man from... Kyoto Breaking Kyoto. his back? Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. I love that scene. Why aren't you finding uh, it? Ah, buggy. Yep. Oh, buggy. Buggy boo. All right, moving on. Uh, we have... There was a posting that apparently the Lionsgate 2017 Power Rangers film will be starting filming next January and will wrap up on apparently April 12th. And I don't know what this is about, but it's going under the working title of Shirt. (laughs) Wait, wait, hang on. It starts filming January 18th and goes from April 12th? Goes from January 18th to April 12th. That's their filming dates apparently. Wow. That's four months just to... Yeah. yeah. It's finished. It's not worth it. Actually, each you, here's the thing you might not know. A lot of movies, just to keep the secrecy of, like, you know, so there's not too many prying eyes on sets and shit. You'll well, lie about the dates? No, the name. Why it's called Shirt. Do you know what the word, do you know what the title for Dark Knight was? Well, and Dark Knight was pretty big, right? Yeah. It was uh, under the working title Rory's First Kiss. <sighs> Okay. They just go with anything. Okay. Star Wars was Blue Harvest. Okay. Really? Yes. Just so that prying eyes don't that's go why, That's why the family of Star Wars is called Blue Harvest. But, uh... They just pick random names, basically. We may have mentioned before, but apparently the movie is being directed by Dean Israelite, who did Project Almanac, and the scripts are being written by the people who did X-Men First Dean Class. Dean Israelite's doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Ashley... So sick! And the scripts are being written by Ashley Miller and Zach Stentz, who did X-Men First Class. Yeah, but the problem is it's coming out in January. Wait, wait, January 13th? That's my birthday. Really? January 13th? That's that's mine. January 13th? Yes. Amazing. It starts on your birthday. I guess we know know we have a birthday party! 20th birthday party, we're saying that. You know what this means? It means... It's gonna blow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's coming out in January. No, it's it, a mom! It means we're going to have to break one of our own rules and actually go to see a movie in January. Fuck you, it's January. <laughs> I don't get it. There, there's a thing amongst movie people where, like, January tends to be where they dump all the we just got to get this out sort of movies. Yes. Yeah. We're not it, trying. It, 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 that's why all the Are bad Are you sure movies, this isn't one of those? That's what I'm I saying. Hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Like, like I said, like... Unfortunately, it's become a thing in, in, in movie oh, circles. Hey, guys. Fuck you, it's January. Can I just... <laughs> you know what the most logical way to... Yeah, okay, it's announced currently for January 2017. You know that means it's not coming out until March, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? If this movie comes out in February, it's got a chance. Hey, when you guys really think about it, the movie's original uh, premiere date was April 2016, then they delayed it yeah, to this date. That's and now really that's when it's going to finish filming. You know what? Oh I God, say February, it's... though, because... Within the last two years, two movies came out in February that really made me go, oh, okay, they're good. <laughs> Lego Movie and Kingsman. Oh, okay. No, there. Le- Lego Movie came out in February. Yeah, it did. That's what we're talking about. I'm saying, you usually February. February, no, no, also February, February movies February. tend to be bad, too. Oh, okay. But every year so far since, but for the past two years, there's been one movie in February that I would call great. Right. Actually, you're just, just saying that because February is the month where all the shitty, cheesy romances come out. Yes, <laughs> because Valentine's Day, yeah. And, and the oh, I'm seeing this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, you know what? You know why you wanted to go see that John Goodman romantic movie? Well, we're gonna go see Power. Wait, wait, time out. The John Goodman romantic movie? I want to see that. What? I want to see John Goodman in a rom com. Wait, wait, wait. God, you damn it, Rosie. Did you never hear he was, about? The, he was in the Flintstones. <laughs> no, did you ever hear about the uh, <laughs> the comedy of? Uh, what what was the name I just said? John Goodman. Yeah, John Goodman being gay. That was yeah. The joke. There was a there was a show about Ooh. that. I'm also I'll, I swear to God I'm just picturing now like John Goodman starring in like a rom com with like Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Hollywood, hey, shut and do it. No. From the writers of Blit and the director of Nye <laughs> comes Revoof <laughs> no, 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 no. From the writer of X Men and the director Michael Bay. <laughs> Well, see, now you just Michael Bay directed Power Rangers. I'd be happy. No, no you no. wouldn't. Yes, I, I'm a Michael Bay. Fan. You know, I actually think that wouldn't be too terrible. No, it would uh, be terrible. Actually, no, Michael, <laughs> uh, speak, speaking of Michael Bay, I found out what his next movie is. Yeah. Oh it's god. It's based on a true story. It's a war movie. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. About a team. About a team of covert American soldiers in the Middle East. American. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Good. So you're telling me. Michael Bay is directing a movie where shit is supposed to blow up and the movie can suck America's dick as hard as it wants. 
Good point. He's being honest about it. He's gonna get hey, a, he's gonna get why not? Us. That's what he does. Although I did, okay. I did like uh, the uh, pain again. So anyways, yeah. moving on. All right, moving on to some uh, more collection announcements. Ooh, Power Rangers Time Force complete series DVD announced for 1997. That's pretty good. Literally. Twenty bucks okay. for the whole show is pretty fucking good. I think about forty uncut. Okay, uncut. Uh, Uncut episodes I on five discs. Oh, I, oh man, I wish they had shown us this uh, last week. It would have fit oh. in. <laughs> what, wait, what happened last week? Oh, the DVD box set. To those who are unaware, there are some episodes that was edited after 9-11. Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, that explains, hey, explains the uncut. Uh, I yeah, have, I have a bone to pick with you, Ichi. On our last episode, did you honestly put in the description for our episode, "Come enjoy 9/11"? <laughs> <laughs> it was the a episode, holiday special. The episode was called no! Cat Stranger 9/11." <laughs> that sounds like we're all going to die. Oh, oh! I just realized though, I'm. It's been like 15 years. Get over it. Oh, no, it's literally. So bad. many people died. Shove it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, no, no. I'm just joking. Raven's I crying. Know. Jesus. I know. I, know. I just, I just crying. saw though. Shout. I'm sold. Shout yeah. Factory did it. Of course yeah, he did. Shout Who Fra- else is going to okay. do it? No, Sh- you never know these days. Actually, especially Sh- with Power Rangers. No, Shout Factory has rights from Mighty Morphin all the way to RPM. Really? Yeah. Lionsgate takes control of Sam Rides now. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So, so uh, the DVD box set is set for a December 15th release. I am well, fucking down. Now, yeah. why are we getting Mask right 20 bucks? Like, are you kidding? Apparently. Oh, Once they're done there. releasing all of these. Nobody cares about Mask Rider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After every <laughs> it's on Netflix. Like, after all the in- individual releases, Mask Rider finally on DVD. <laughs> oh, God. It's not Mask Rider, it's Mask Rider. <laughs> There's a period. Mask Rider. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, if you want to get correct, Saban's Mask Rider. That's true. That's All bitch. right. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, uh, ex- excuse me. Give me give me a second. <laughs> Lane, I'm going to fucking murder you. Oh, oh, he got it in my ear. Oh, it's in my mouth. Oh, it's in my raccoon wounds. Oh, 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 Lane. No. Oh, Lane. Oh, I painted the though. walls up in here. Yeah. I don't want to know oh, why he's pink. See a doctor. But, no, but yeah, Lane just uh, hung all over us because SH Figure Arts Renewal Decade finally and has a release. boy date. does it look gorgeous. The fucking belt open on it. That is my number one favorite rider design as I've said the before. fucking belt you opens. are fucking absolutely <laughs> flawless. He's got like, a tiny card. Go, go down. Go down. Doesn't scratch. this? No, no, no. Doesn't this like just you look at it quickly because the legs are white? Doesn't it look like he's got tiny legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you look at it real quick, yeah, yeah. Like, like just the white on white. There. The one thing that really surprises me about this figure art is the belt because yes, it does open, but it also has the insignias on it. Yeah, right no, that's detail. Yeah, the original did not have that. That is truly. It. Like, From what I've seen though, it, like, there's no price date yet, but it does come out uh, next year and. Um, it's sad because it don't, it don't, it won't, it's not going to come with the Violent Motion head. But I guess that'll make use of You can just swap my, it out with the one you have. N- no, it, it won't be big enough. Oh, okay. I love the yeah. descriptions on But I'll on. just keep my Decade figure I have now and make it a Violent Motion. I love the descriptions on here. And yeah, blame Decade for why you, for everything. Why, why don't, don't you? you? Blame for why we don't have any other information. Yeah, yeah. blame Decade why we still don't have a key, a regular key. This, 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 news, this news post has been rated on OD, Honor de Decade. For real. Like, <laughs> especially when these pictures are little. Looks like he's got the skinny legs. <laughs> no, they should have done a black background. And only one of them. Or gray. Anything yeah, yeah, gray, other than white. Gray, gray background. White on white is just one of the worst things you can do. Oh, but this this figure looks fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm pre- this is the only figure I'm actually going to pre-order. I have pre-pre-ordered. <laughs> I, I didn't know this figure was coming out, and I already pre-ordered it. Moving on. Yeah, moving it's true, he did. To our final piece of news. Yeah. There are rumors out for the next Super Sentai. All Remember, right. take these as grain of salt. Uchikita! More like Muchikita. Yes, it's that time again when Duke Mon 22. Is that the guy's fucking Apparently. So apparently the 40th anniversary Super Sentai series will have a combined motive of space and insects. Boom! It's oh. a it's a pun because the word for space is uchu and the word for insects is muchu. Wait, so has wait, already... Japan did a pun? Never. So wait, has it already been five years since Gokai Jerry? Yes! Wow! Yes. Actually, Ew! Oh, right, just to get something out of the way quick. Quickly. You it's mean not it's been the five form. years since I actually really so let's say we've had in the past five years we've had pirates, espionage, dinosaurs, trains, trains and ninjas. No. Go on, Gar. 
the where it says and the fortieth anniversary. The, where it says the fortieth anniversary Super Sentai series, that should be rewritten as the fortieth series, not anniversary. Because yeah. technically, we're already in Super Sentai's fortieth anniversary. It started in '75 and it's been going ever since. That's true. Can, can we just have Go Kaiju season two? I'm interested. <laughs> you know, the, that's the funny thing is, I was saying like earlier on a pod on another podcast. How have we ever had a Sentai that was all insect based? Have you ever seen Beetleborgs or the villains? Is that from a Sentai? Beetleborg? No, no, no! It's, no, it's a Metal Hero series. Uh, no, I don't think we've ever had in a whole. That's what I, I know. We had them on Hurricane Jer and Go Buster. Yeah, but not a whole team based on insects. Which I always said. I think that, I thought that would be cool, and it's really cool now to see that they're going in space. Have the, has any Sentai done that? Yeah. Mega Ranger. Mega Ranger was a video Flash game. Flashman. It, it no, did have kind Denver of a spacey was motif. More based off technology. Well, it did yeah. have kind of a spacey theme uh, to it. Though. Denji Man was somewhat the first Sentai to have like space related stuff. Mm-hmm. Bio Man. Bio Man it involved with bio well, particles. That one, really what about Ginga Man? One thing for sure, Ginga Man was nature based. Yeah, it was all. Yeah. even though the word Ginga is yeah. galaxy. No, it was a flying island. It was basically okay. Guardians of the Beast. whole. The, the reason why, Guardians like, of the Earth because we had Lost Galaxy, which took place, you know, in space. But that yeah. was only because in space did so well. In the they yeah. didn't want to go back. As yeah, said. yeah. But remember, guys, that's why there are a lot of nature shots okay. in the jungle. Yeah, <laughs> no, remember, My guys, Terra Venture. This is take this as a grain of salt. I remember the first post we got about the 39th Super Sentai. It was saying we were going to get a Sentai bird theme again. I mean, and then we end up with ninjas. Yeah, you do have to take this with a big grain of salt, especially since what was the uh, original thought that Ghost would end up being fashion based? Yeah, well, which okay. is not entirely uh, inaccurate. Yeah, yeah but you know, clothing. you know what I mean. It was announced as oh Sherry. Hey, was Drive Ghost. was gonna be mini discs, or was it Gaim? That, that was Gaim. That was Gaim. Yeah. All right. So, I do Can believe that. If they actually do go with this, bugs from space, huh? So it's mm-hmm. Super One. I swear to God, uh, I thought uh, you were going to say uh, Forza. All I know is if fucking Dex shows up in this. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is if it is Bug Space Theme, the 6th Ranger is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. just, well, they always are. Well, we never know. It could be the villains that are <laughs> insects from space. <laughs> yeah, just picture, if they ever turn this into Power Rangers, it is, in fact, like the two... That's where we get our big fucking three-way crossover, where the Power Rangers are greeted by the Masked Rider and the Beetleborgs. <laughs> they're all bugs. I would be so down! Shut up and take my money. I do believe it's time to... Shut up and to, take my Nielsen ratings. I do believe it's time to close this newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's no funnies in this. What the crap? What, no puzzles? <laughs> what? Anyway... We will see you in the podcast proper. In the future. Which is now. In the world of tomorrow.